Taurus and welcome to today's reading. I hope that all is well. If you are new here, I am your host, The Apocrypha, and it is a pleasure to meet you. I hope you'll consider joining the Soul Family that we have going on here. And if you are returning, welcome back, Soul Family. I love you guys. Okay. So, as always, information decks, disclaimers are in the description box down below. If you need to or want to have a look, they are there. I have a very special announcement that I want to post about soon, so if you're interested in learning more, please keep an eye out. Um, I'm hoping that you guys will like this little thing that I have planned. So, let's see, we have the King of Swords in reverse. You may be connecting with a masculine figure in your life who's trying to have justice in whatever way that they see fit, Taurus. Um, just because someone's masculine doesn't mean that they have to be a man. They could be a woman in masculine energy. Energy is what I read here. Um, it's like they're really holding on. I feel like you may be dealing with someone who's very stubborn. Very stubborn. To their own ideals, to their own perceptions, to their own ideologies, their own way of life. And maybe they're the type of person to tell you that your way of life, your way of spirituality, or your religious practice, or whatever it is, is wrong or evil or malicious or whatever um we had when i picked up the deck it was the the ten of pentacles in reverse stayed behind It's interesting because the king is wearing purple and uh, so is this person here um, there may be someone this person maybe wears a lot of purple or maybe purple is their favorite color maybe hmm. maybe they have uh, maybe they are intuitive um, perhaps they're very abundant. I see grapes here. They could be so, someone in a higher social status or um, prestige or um, career. Someone within the company that you work, work in who's higher up. Okay. So we had... Multiple cards come out, so I'll mainly read the Four of Pentacles, which was in the front. And then there was the Well, which is unique to this deck. And the Four of Wands, which is interesting. So we have 44 here. Again, we have more purple. Purples, yellows. Um, 44 may be significant. Underneath the deck, we have the Page of Cups in reverse. It's like you're trying to go within yourself, perhaps. Let me see. Let me actually read from this for that card because... I don't go through books before I use cards, I just use them. So it says the well. Astrological Correspondence Gaia. The well is the birthplace of ideas, inspiration, and transformation. All things are birthed from this creatrix, and knowledge flows freely to those who seek it. Upright, nurturing opportunity, nature, creativity. Reverse destruction endings cold and stagnant. What I'm feeling from this card is... Um, it's like, because it's in the middle, 
of these two cards and both of them are fours, I kind of have the feeling like you're trying to choose between two aspects of something perhaps. You're trying to decide should I hold on to my energy or should I really move forward with this endeavor. Maybe maybe this uh, King of Swords is like a father figure or a boss or something and you want to commit to something that they don't really approve of. You're not sure if you should just stay quiet about it but you want them to be there. I don't know why for some of you I feel like this may be a wedding that you want um, and you're not sure how they will perceive this person. Um, It's, it's like with these cards laid out here, side by side, this one is looking at this one. So I feel like you're trying to cleanse a certain energy around you and this person. You're trying to hold on to certain aspects of things going on in your life so that they don't intervene or interfere. Um, but there's something beautiful that you want to share, that you want to talk about, that you want to work on, or whatever it is. But there's like this, like you're really holding on to not letting them know about it. Or you're trying to clear up the air between you two because you feel like you have had to stay quiet for so long. Or that you've had to hold on to your energy that they wouldn't understand. But the page of cups in reverse it is making me feel like yes they're not they're not understanding your situation in the background there's there's like a huge wave and this person is holding their heart it's like perhaps you have conveyed something before that has triggered very emotional uh, energies between the two of you perhaps they got emotional they got angry they got upset or whatever the case is you're trying to hold on to your heart you're trying to hold on to what it is that you believe is right and that you should do for yourself it's like with the ten of pentacles in reverse you feel like this person doesn't want the best for you or to some degree perhaps they do want the best for you but at the same time they are trying to have things their way okay Taurus so let's see what else comes out for you today what I would recommend is right when I was gonna speak Step out of your comfort zone is the card underneath the deck. And then don't let your pride get in your way is the card that came out. Okay. What I was going to say is, you know, of course, everyone's situation is different. I don't know your exact situation. I don't know who you're dealing with, how crazy they can be or whatever. I don't know. But I saw 123 on my uh, clock. I feel like you should speak your mind. You should say how you feel. You know, guard yourself as needed, but convey how you feel. Be open and honest. However this person takes it, it's how they take it, but in the end, your life is your life to live. That would be my personal advice, but you know your situation better than I do, so, I mean, if there are certain circumstances that get in the way or you know certain things only you know that but it's like you have been through so much in your life you see here in the background there's this huge tree trunk you can see some of its roots here you're trying to create something for yourself maybe for a very few of you Maybe you got pregnant and you're afraid to tell your parents about it. Maybe you're like in your early 20s. Um, 
regardless, I feel like you're afraid to open up about this because you know it's a huge commitment. You know, you know how they're going to take it. Or you think you know. But because of all these situations, all the experiences that you have, it's like you have an idea. It's important to convey what is truly going on to those that we are close to. If you feel like you need to protect yourself and your family, then do so. But I think it's important to remember to speak your mind. Okay, Taurus, don't let your pride get in your way. This is telling me to have confidence but also to not allow your pride to keep you from speaking to someone just because of the past. Just because of what you or they have done in the past. Don't let, the, don't let pride get in your way. Be courageous is what this is telling me here. Maybe you're dealing with a Leo. You could possibly be, or you could possibly uh, have um, Leo placements in your chart. Okay, Taurus, so this is what I'm getting for today. I hope that this message resonated. If it did, I hope you'll consider liking, sharing, subscribing, and uh, put it, turning on the post notifications um, so you can be aware of whenever I post a new video, including that special announcement that I have planned very soon. So, I love you guys. Take care, okay? Bye, Taurus.